Hi everyone, this is Michelle. I just wanted to share a card that I had made for the Sherry Baldy My Besties Design Team call. And Sherry Baldy is the creator of these beautiful digital images. And she has an Etsy store with over 1,000 digital images. And she also sells stamps, but I'm not quite sure on the number. But I do believe there's at least 100, if not more. Um, and so she is also having to sell right now. She's going to be retiring some of her images. So I think it's until the end of the month. They are 50% off, and the digital images are anywhere from 3 to $4, so it's a great deal um, for you to go over and check out the store and get some My Besties images. So on my card, I started out with a 5 by 5 square of pink. The black is 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. The white, 4 and a half by 4 and a half. Then the next, the in black is four and a quarter by four and a quarter and then I finished up with a four by four square of pink and then I just made a bow with this black and white polka dot ribbon and then I just put a piece in an angle there so it looks like it's wrapped around the back like a Christmas package and then I made these records or I hope they look like records anyways um, to kind of go with the 50s theme um, I was, you know, you kind of think of sock hops and records and, you know, the 45s and the poodle skirts, which I think are adorable. And then I just used some Recollections bling that I cut down to have coming out just to kind of fill the space. And I, I like glitter or bling, so I had to have some of that. And then the flowers are just Wild Orchid Crift craft, excuse me, Wild Orchid Craft flowers. And I think a few of these might have been gifted to me in a swap. And so what I want to do today is I want to show you how I made the record. I used um, black paper, of, of course, and a one and three eighths circle punch. And I just cut out, you know, the, the record portion. And then I used a half inch punch to cut out the label and I find it easier to turn my punch over then you can see you know when you've got the paper completely in the punch and then punch it out and then you're not wasting as much paper and you're getting accurate um, cuts so I've, been, I've made a few of these <laughs> today so what we're going to do is we're going to emboss the black part which is the record so it's shiny and we're going to use First mark, that's what it looks like. You can find it with other ink pads, and it's going to say watermark stamp pad. So that's how you know. And Versa mark, I kind of equate it to the glue to hold the embossing powder. So kind of think of this as the glue if you were using glitter. Um, so we're going to take our record, and I'm just going to place it down on there, and I'm going to press it into the Versa mark, and I want to make sure it's evenly coated. So when I apply the embossing powder, it covers the entire record. And there was just a, looked like a little spot there. I wasn't quite sure. This paper has a little bit of a texture. So I wanted to make sure I did get it coated. Once again, I'm, let me just do it one more time to make sure. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit shinier this time. So we've got that. And we're going to take... Um, Ultra thick embossing enamel is what I'm using today. I'm just going to open that up and pour. Oops, sorry about that. Pour some on there so you can see. And then we're going to take our heat gun and apply some heat so it will melt the embossing powder. And I do like to use tweezers when I'm doing something this small because it does get extremely hot. So you want to be careful when you're doing this. And when I start the heat gun, we're going to go until it's melted, but it still has, I want to call them dimples in the embossing powder. And then what we're going to do while it's still hot and tacky, I'm going to bring it down and scoop into the embossing powder on the paper again and bring it back to the heat and that will give us our clear finish. So um, I just wanted to make sure you knew what I was doing ahead of time, but I will try to point out 
when we get to that stage that we need to scoop back into the embossing powder. So I'm just going to apply the heat and I'm just moving the heat gun just a little bit so we don't want to burn the embossing powder or the paper. So you just want to kind of alternate where you're going around. And I am using the Ranger heat gun today. It is more quiet than other heat guns. And then we're going to go in and scoop up again. Trying to get as much as we can on there. There we go. Okay, and then back to the heat gun. And this time we're going to heat it all the way. And you want to make sure that, see around the edges there, you want to make sure you get every little bit along the edge so that way, and then your record will be, you know, completely coated even on the edge a little bit. And so, and I am going to go in and try to get a little bit in this one section right here. There we go. I noticed some dimples still, so we'll just go back in. Scoop it up till we get it the way we want. And like I said, just make sure you do move the heat gun ever so slightly so you don't burn. You really won't notice it with the black, but you can burn your embossing powder or, or discolor it, so you want to be really careful. And so that looks pretty good to me. So see how see how it is now. See how shiny. I just think that's I just love to emboss. I just think it's amazing of how people come up with these ideas. So I'm gonna lay my record aside here. And you can get the label portion out. And I'm just gonna get a little tiny drop of glue. We don't want to get too much because it will come out you know, around the edge and then it, you know make our record not be shiny. And be careful when you pick the record up. <clears throat> Excuse me, it is a little bit hot <clears throat> or warm to the touch on the bottom, so be careful. And some I know some people's fingers are sensitive, so we don't you know want anybody to get burnt. My fingers um, aren't quite so sensitive, so it it doesn't bother me. But just in case, I know my daughter she has a tendency that her fingers burn a little easier than mine. And then I'm just going to take a marker and just write whatever you want on the label. So I'm going to put um, happy on the top. And then I'm going to spin it around. And then put birthday. And then turn it as I'm writing birthday. Then I'll put little squiggles in between. And we'll put a little dot right there so I know where to punch the center. And so there is our record. And I'm not really going to stress too much over the writing because it is so small. But it just gives enough that you can tell there is something on there. And so I'm going to take my punch. I'm not sure what size this is. I do apologize. But if you can see that little blue dot. It's, that's how tiny it is. So that's going to be the hole that you would you know, insert the record onto the record player. And I am using a punch, a handheld punch, that I can slide my record in. So if um, you are purchasing one to, to do these types of things with, you want to make sure you can slide your object in. Um, because some only go to about right there, and that will really limit you the way they're made. So that's just something you might want to check out when you're purchasing one. And then I'm just lining it up with my little dot. There we go. Give it a good squeeze because the embossing powder is a little, little hard to get through. So there's my record. And I'll be ready to make another card. But I also wanted to show you that this will crack if you bend it. I don't know if you can see it or not. So I kind of like those cracks <laughs> for the record because, you know, records kind of have little lines. So 
I liked it like that, so I cracked mine just a little bit. And I kind of, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it kind of just gives it a little bit of dimension, so it's just not a completely flat surface. Um, so, and then you can just rub your record. I'm going to rub it on this cloth here, and it'll get shiny again. See? Just from my fingerprints, it kind of dulled the finish down. So, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. That's the first one I've ever done. And I hope you liked my card as well. And this is Friday, so thank goodness it's TGIF. I hope everyone has a great weekend. And thank you for watching. Please um, leave a comment or questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Everyone have a blessed weekend, and thank you so much.